What's up guys, Frugal BC, and today I'm going to be reacting to a video about quantum resistance cryptocurrencies. And I've been kind of getting into some online debates and doing a little research on which coins around Algorand, specifically around Algorand and Hedera, which ones are the most quantum resistant. And so far it seems to be Algorand is coming out ahead. It is using the Falcon protocol, which is one of the few that the National Institute for Standards in technology acknowledges as actually being quantum resistant it does have a ways to go it's not uh it's not foolproof yet and you know all of these are safe right now basically because um we're, we're a long ways away from true quantum computing although the willow chip released by google is a very strong um very strong move toward a truly usable quantum chip it can perform calculations that would take um more than a lifetime in like five seconds or some, five minutes or something like that it's crazy so i'm going to react to this video by altcoin daily called five quantum resistant cryptos currencies to watch to buy and hold in 2025 yeah we're gonna we're gonna dive into this i'm gonna tell you a little bit about my research i'm still doing a lot there's a lot more i have to do on to before i really uh really dive too much into it but uh, before we get into that, guys, if you wouldn't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, I always appreciate that. Now, remember, you don't have to smash it. You can actually just press it gently. It works just fine that way, too. Um, channel members see these videos before anyone else. You can get that for only a dollar, or you can get additional videos that no one else sees for in the $3.99 tier. So check that out in the description below. And we are brought to you by Non-Fungible Domains. So if you want that .algo address and uh, have a vault where people can send you stuff and you can decide whether I want it or not, check that out at Non-Fungible Domains in the description below. And we're brought to you by Marcus Ferilius, an NFT and meme coin project on the Algorand blockchain. They're building a little stoic army there over on Telegram. You should go check them out. They've got a lot of really cool stuff coming, like an animated series, some physical products and digital products. A lot of cool stuff going on over there. I'm a big Marcus fan, so go check that out in the description below. But let's get to this video. I'm going to have to put my headphones on so I can play this thing with sound. Higher after announcing a quantum computing breakthrough, unveiling its new chip, Willow, which can perform a milestone computing in just five minutes time that would take a classic supercomputer longer than the history of the universe. Quantum computing and Google's new Willow. Okay, that's a, that's a lot longer than I had said initially. Sorry about that. Willow chip are one of the biggest looming threats to crypto today. Which means that those wallets will get captured by quantum computers. And while we're not there yet. Are people's cryptos safe? Today. 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 Yes. Yes. In five years, we'll. Quantum computers can break cryptography and the threat is becoming more imminent. I see a lot of things said about blockchains that call themselves quantum secure. You know, you want to be checking that. And do not. As our boy John Allen Woods. Believe every coin that just claims to be quantum resistant. Do not be fooled. A lot of these kind of quantum proof blockchains are just bullshit. Here's my list of five top quantum resistant crypto coins to watch in 2025 with real actual potential. First coin on today's list, Algorand. But we genuinely at Algorand, uh, we have some of these uh, folks on staff, people who've invented this math. Chris Picard is one, uh, he works at Algorand Technologies. With Google announcing Willow, their quantum processor, we are entering a post quantum world. Algorand is a quantum secure ledger, meaning the entire history of the chain is safeguarded against future threats of quantum computers. Here's Algorand CTO, John Wood. By the way, though, that is the past transactions. One thing that they have to shore up yet is future transactions, which the current technology doesn't address yet, but that will be coming. Woods speaking about Falcon. And we have used a technology known as Falcon, uh, which harnesses these n-dimensional lattices from Interstellar that I just talked about to secure the history of the blockchain. So every 256 rounds, i.e. every 256 blocks, we um, cryptographically sign with a post-quantum digital signature that quantum computers cannot break the 256 blocks. And then we, we wait for the next 256 and then we sign them. And so we are essentially protecting in batches of 256 uh, blocks the entire history of the chain. Now, that affords us great security. It's not perfect, and I'll, I'll come to where we need to change other, other parts, but it does allow us to sit back and say, well, if a transaction was done 10 minutes ago or 12 minutes ago, it's quantum secure. And that's a, that's a powerful statement. So Falcon is key to how Algorand secures blockchain history today 
and defends against future quantum threats. Essentially, they certify and compress ledger changes every 256 rounds. And Algorand is just the start. Watch today's entire video. You will not believe the next four coins on today's list. Now, we still have to. Sorry, yes. I'm But I always want to keep things real with you because you subscribe to Altcoin Daily for the full picture. Listen to this perspective from the team that while today, it's just the history of the chain that's protected, it's not the current or the future yet, but the history of the chain is the most important. It seems to that's what I was just saying, by the way. To me, that that is the most important thing, right? I mean, the other two components, you know, securing accounts and securing consensus, you know, the fact that these are not quantum secure today isn't really a problem because there's no quantum computers out there that could potentially right. break this, right? And well, so yeah. to me, it seems to me that the most important thing we can do as a blockchain is making sure that the history is secure so that in five or 10 years from now or 20 years from now, whenever a quantum computer is actually reality, that then we make sure that all the historical transactions cannot be broken. So it seems right. that is the right approach. You know, today there's no quantum computers, so we don't have to solve a problem that does not exist. But we do have to make sure that that when in the future a quantum computer is there, that they can break the history of the blockchain. So that feels to me like the most important thing to get right. I would say it's primary for sure, because I would rather a world where we draw a line in the sand and say, well, quantum computers just emerged. We have a problem and we're going to have to fix it. Um, and I know all of my balances and, and, and everything I've done thus far is secure. I'd rather that um, than, for example, to be secure going forward, but not to have security in the history. Point number two to keep on the radar is self frame. Something I like is they understood this problem years ago and mainnet is live, build and manage quantum safe blockchain solutions with the self frame SDK, meaning developers that want to build quantum safe applications can do so on self frame. Leadership Gleb Sidorkin explains. Self frame is essentially third generation blockchain, which solves those scalability issues the, uh, at a high performance level and also we built, and that allows us also to, to create these post-quantum signatures. And another aspect of the post-quantum that is built into the architecture of cell frame as a third, I would say almost fourth generation blockchain is uh, easy uh, upgradability. So with the quantum apocalypse looming, you know, Ethereum has this huge uh, amount of capital in it, huge amount of users. Vitalik has said, all right, we're gonna do a hard fork for when the quantum apocalypse comes. Uh, well, that, that, there's a lot, <laughs> it's not, it's much easier said than done. Uh, and so we, hard forks are obviously, a whole process of their own, but then also you need to, your private key would have to change. So cell frame today has EVM and WASM smart contracts. It's hardware friendly Raspberry Pi four level. Of course it's scalable, but a big one is multi-level sharding built on C language. C language for cell compared to coding languages of other top blockchains is a differentiator. The code is written entirely in pure C. And I've noticed this is another kind of cell frame thing that's not, I think getting more prominent in the zeitgeist, um, <clears throat> people delivering uh, code in C, it's, it runs much more quickly, much more efficiently than higher level languages. And it can, uh, it can orchestrate, or what's the word, uh, recruit all, all, the, all the power of your machine directly uh, as a low level language. So that, yeah, the kind of high performance C code allows us to do that much faster than previously thought possible in a blockchain. And in next quarter. I actually don't find that very convincing. Um, that's not recognized by the NIST, which is setting the standards for these technologies. So point on our list that boasts quantum resistance is Hedera. Is Hedera secure against quantum computers? In a recent statement from Hedera, they say, Hedera is post-quantum secure for hashing and encryption. As the quantum landscape evolves, so too will our network. We are keeping a close eye on developments and can upgrade the network as needed so they they post this but where's the where's the actual technology and this is what i struggled i did some research on hadera and quantum computing and they uh you know be, he's a so the, there's a lot of talk from the hadera team about about this and why it matters and why it's important but i don't see i don't see any reference to the technology that puts it over the top i do see it with i don't know i don't know how they can say post quantum secure but then they say we can upgrade it when the quantum threats happen. I'm, I'm very confused about that. To protect from emerging quantum threats, listen to co-founder of Hedera explain. All right, so we're in really good shape. So here's where we are in Hedera. We use four cryptographic primitives. We use hashes in the hash map. In the hash, okay, so we have the hash graph that has hashes in it, and we have the history of everything that's ever happened that's tied together with hashes, sort of like a blockchain. So we have hashes all through the system. And we use SHA-384, not 256. Why do we use the extra bits? It's so that we're CNSA compliant, which is, you know, the government requires that for top secret information. And why does it require it? Because it is, we believe, secure against giant quantum computers. So the belief is, even if you took, you know, all the atoms on Earth and turned them into giant quantum computers, you would not be able to break SHA-384. SHA-384 is thought to be secure against quantum computers forever. Um, that's pretty good news. 
Yeah, that's a much more convincing argument, and they actually mentioned the technology. I find that a lot more convincing than the the previous one, where it's like, oh, we just use C, and like, eh, I don't know about that. So, yeah, this is this is much better, and um, we'll have to do more research on that. And we use SHA-384. Most blockchains use SHA-256. Theoretically, quantum computers could break it, so they'll someday have to go to 384. Although, to be honest, I think 236 is secure enough. To use 384, you have to have a lot of qubits, and I think it's going to be hard. Also, something to note about Hedera is all the developers choosing to build. Because just because a blockchain is quote-unquote quantum resistant doesn't mean the developers like it. You want one they like and is quantum resistant. We all know Karate Combat chose Hedera. Tune FM chose Hedera. The building is clear. And just FYI, this has been explained to death. But Bitcoin will not die with quantum computing. Bitcoin's going to be fine. Almost 200,000 people have watched my deep dive on this thus far. Quantum computing will kill Bitcoin. Sell crypto now. Link down below. Highly encourage you. Become an expert on this. Watch this 11-minute video. All we're going to need is a simple upgrade, really. The real problem becomes when you have broad commercial availability of quantum computing, but not broad enough that all of us can use it in our wallets. And there's that interim period that's a bit awkward. And during that interim period, Bitcoin needs to change its algorithms. But one of the interesting things that happens is that while you can change the algorithms on all of the active wallets, some wallets have lost keys, or the people who had those keys are dead, and they can't change. Hey, by the way, there's like a minute left in this video, and uh, he's still got. He's only said three coins. Are there going to be two more coins? We kind of go through them pretty quick, huh? Change the signing algorithm, which means that those wallets will get captured by quantum computers. So one of the interesting things that happens is we will know when quantum computing exists when Satoshi's coins move. But for the rest of the ecosystem, we can migrate quite easily to another algorithm. It's not really as big a threat as people think it is. So for that reason, Bitcoin makes my list at number four today. Because really, when people are asking, is this blockchain chain quantum resistant? They're really just asking, is this a viable investment long term? Five years, ten years. Uh, I see. So Bitcoin is number four. I, I don't know if I find that very convincing either. Years. Is this thing going to last? Bitcoin will be fine. Some people are saying OZO. Comment down below if you've made it th this far in today's video, which quantum resistant coin you have the highest conviction for. Let's all. So they really tried to kind of shoehorn a couple of coins. I mean, really, when you watch this video, it really seems apparent that Algorand and Hedera are obviously leading the way in this um, we had to kind of shoehorn whether well, was that, what was it called? Cell frame. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll have to do a little more research on that. Obviously, Algorand and Hedera are very, very good compared to the rest of the competition. Um, I'm glad, glad to, he had that explanation because I had a really hard time finding that explanation. I found stuff about why it's important to be quantum resistant, but not not like actually talking about the technology. So this is a this is a much better explanation. And this is kind of a problem in crypto anyways, that a lot of these companies are just really bad at giving giving explanations that the regular person can understand. Even someone who is like an advanced amateur or has a lot of knowledge in this space. I mean, they just get way too far in the weeds, in, in my opinion. So so I asked here, which cryptocurrency is more quantum ready? Algorand Herdera, I will tell you after a bit of research, I was surprised. Cassia says, uh... I don't know, but if they're they are the top two, then I am set for life because I huddle both with me too. And here he kind of talks about here is control all delete kind of talks about it. Uh, while HBAR is an implementation of quantum resistant algorithms, it also uses ACDSA, which is not. Algorand uses SHA five twelve and Falcon. Falcon is the only one on the list designed with quantum in mind. None are one hundred percent yet, and that's true. That's totally true. Like we said, um, even Algorand, it's it's protecting protective against the former blocks that have been created as of 10 minutes ago, but not not future blocks. And then, you know, they didn't really address like actually cracking, say like people's uh, people's passwords and stuff like that. And I don't, maybe that's just so uh, so impossible that it doesn't deserve addressing. But I, I don't know about that. So that's something else I'd, I really want to dive more into this. And um, if you ever get John Allen Woods back on the show, which um, I've been trying, <laughs> like he reached out to me and then it's just been a it's been a lot of back and forth and nothing happening. But uh, I definitely would like to dive deeper into into uh, quantum resistance on cryptocurrencies and all these like dumb questions that nobody asks that I would like to ask because I, I think a lot of people would like to hear this stuff. So. so anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I, I think it's very telling that out of on the, the top five quantum resistant cryptocurrencies, the main two were Algorand and Hedera and the rest had to be kind of shoehorned in, shoehorned in. And I'd be I'd be more concerned about Bitcoin, actually, I would.
I don't I don't think that was a, a very convincing argument. And I think uh, I think I want to see more. I, I, I have a lot more faith in coins that were built with quantum resistance in mind than I do these, uh, you know, like like Ethereum. Well, we're just upgrade. We'll just fork it. It's like, yeah, that hasn't gone. That hasn't gone so well for Ethereum. And I think in five years, I, just, I think Ethereum's going to lose market share. But that's my opinion. Anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think. Which coin do you like? Do you like Algorand or Hedera for quantum resistance more? Do you hold both? Let me know in the description, in the comments below. And I do apologize for the just sheer amount of spam that has showed up lately. It's so hard to get rid of. I, I've blocked like every time a new coin and one of these new scam crypto pops up, I block it on the moderation and there's just a new one the next day and it's flooded again. So I apologize for that. But anyway, uh, let me know what you think. Hope you're doing well out there. I'm FrugalBC and I will see you in the future.